What's up, everybody? Everybody, welcome to the stream. Trying to find my music. There we go. What is up? Oh, that lighting. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, I just died a little bit. Looking at how terrible that lighting looks. How are you supposed to see my fine 5,000 pound form in that lighting? Look at it, bask in the glory. God, I really need to figure out like how to make glasses not reflect so bad. It looks so terrible. Anyways, we're here today to play some Scourge Bringer, a game I was really excited about when I played it at the Xbox demo event last year. So a full year ago at this point, we need to make this full screen somehow right away. <clears throat> but then I didn't follow up when it came out. It came out in like October, August, I'm not sure. Something like that. Somewhere in the fall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and I never ended up playing it, even though it came to Game Pass. I think it was shortly after that that it came to Game Pass. Maybe it was even like January or something that it came to Game Pass. Not sure. But it came to Game Pass at some point, and I just had too much going on, I guess. Never gave it its due and forgot about it. Now we're going to play it. Um, oh, here we go. Resolution, full screen. Uh, resolution 10. 1080, come on, buddy. Excellent. Oh, this should be fine. All right. Mm, Scourge Bringer is a challenging game. The game uses an adaptive difficulty system, which scales to your skill to smooth out your experience. If you're looking for the raw deal, you can disable the adaptive difficulty. Mm, fine. Great pixel art style, obviously. If you don't have eyeballs, I'll tell you. We don't know where it came from. We lost the dates and places, the scriptures of those dark times. <clears throat> but it brought the scourge. It destroyed the cities. We still roam the remains. It killed countless. Now we are so few. It moves and travels as we move and flee. We call it the Scourge Bringer, because it brought the scourge. Some ventured in it, hoping to find answers, but no one has ever returned from its depths. So we gave this chick a gun and a sword. Kira, go forth, child. You are the strongest of us all. Whoa! K 
case our... Discover one unspeakable sin that we have committed. Face the ordeal. Change the judgment. Round one, fight! The Scourge Breaker awaits. Bum, bum, bum. For those unfamiliar, this is a roguelite um, with like kind of Celeste style platforming. That seems super neat. Uh, very hard. But with a uh, combat, obviously, I suppose Celeste, which is all about the platforming. Hostile environment detected, enabling anti threat protocols. Proceed with caution. Oh, X to advance text. Obviously, it's been a whole year since I've played, so I don't remember how. We'll figure it out here pretty fast. Okay, I can use the D pad for movement. That's good to know. Okay, can't double jump. Okay, these are tutorials. Down plus A. What was this one telling me? Okay, well, maybe those aren't tutorials. Maybe the tutorial just popped up at the natural moment. There just happens to be bells here. And wall jump. Lockdown in progress. Unknown threat spotted. Suggesting dispatch using force to lift the lockdown. X to attack. Ow. You can kind of like glue yourself to the enemies, almost. Slugger gives mech 1 HP. I'll take that. Thank you. Out of range enemy suggesting dash attacks to reach distant threats. RB to dash. Ooh, to dash attack specifically? Or can you just use... Seems like you can just use that for platforming as well. Seems like there's some kind of cooldown on that. Not sure exactly what it is. Caution. You can be harmed during dash attacks. Long reach required to reach exit. Suggesting combining a double jump with a dash attack. Yeah, there's a bit of a cooldown on it as well. How about I combine a dash attack with a dash attack? Weakness analyzed. A heavy smash attack will be very effective if timed properly. Why for heavy smash attack? Is that just a parry, actually? It looks like he's, like, shooting me in that picture. No, I just need to hit him. Seems like these guys aren't even really interested in hurting me. They're just trying to exist. Enabling long-range armament. Blast point three two units can fire bullets with energy. Energy refills with the strength of the user impacts. So just using close combat force to refill blast thirty two unit energy. Weapon refill. Long-range bullets available. Blast for rapid disposal of threats. Right trigger. Sweet. Take me a bit to get used to these controls, but I'll get there. If you wish to survive, take the blood. If you want the ordeal, take the blood. If you seek judgment, take the blood. The blood grants power. The power to create chaos. Seek power. I took the blood! I took the blood. I love how just freaking heavy metal kicks in. That's not heavy metal. Let's just say that. I don't know what heavy metal is, apparently. But cool, cool music kicks in. Okay, give me that. Take a slug. Quantum distortions detected. Oh, whoops. Should have read that. Probably was a tutorial of sorts. <clears throat> Arriving at unknown location. High density of threats detected. Extreme caution applies. Okay. So I mean, that was a tutorial. This is like an actual randomly generated area. Okay, can't shoot through the floor it seems like. Give me that blood. Clear the first fight. Hell yeah, first blood. Oof, that was not good. Looks like there's some kind of blood drop up in this room. It's, I mean, oh, it's a store. Okay, of course. Welcome, dear. What is a young girl like you doing in a place like this? 
the ordeal. Right, right. How noble of you. <laughs> well, I may be of help. I'm greed to serve you. Wandering merchant and serious blood amateur. What could make you happy? Have a look. Don't be shy. Oh, and I don't take money. I want those shiny droplets of yours. They have their use around here. Please drop by any time. That is to say, with droplets. Okay, you cannot afford that. So the blood, I assume, is my temporary currency, and that bottom one is permanent, I assume. Disgusting, please make it disappear. Okay, I'll take it. Make the world cucumber free, okay. <laughs> the devs don't like cucumbers, funny. Okay, I definitely don't have enough for anything actually useful. God, that feels so good. Straight down. So do I aim this? Yeah, it seems like I can aim that with the other stick. Oh no, okay, never mind. Just kind of felt like it for a second there. at least three enemies in it without touching the ground. Thank you. I don't know why achievements don't pop up on stream. It's weird. But not a big deal. Not have taken that hit. I'm almost dead now. Oh! Damn it. It's bad. What is this? Is that the way forward or something? Oh, boss. Okay. Can't tell if that's doing damage. I don't think it is. I think I have to break him first or whatever, right? With that. Oh, dang it. That's fine. Judged by eye construct. An all seeing bot. Prompt to evade. Extremely vulnerable to smash attacks. Put 10 out of 22 rooms. Okay, so if you get a certain amount of blood, it seems like that transfers into whatever the, that permanent currency is called. The chiming tree. This is where you spend your permanent currency. Ah, <clears throat> welcome to the chiming tree. It's the tree who keeps us alive. Who am I? G Garrow, I guess. I'm from Epi Expedition 6. Where was that 16? You're not a seeker. Let's see. A warrior? Oh, well. <clears throat> I've been waiting here for an eternity to help the ones who need me, that I remember. Now go. Blood. Blood is power. Hmm. I need to think. Here we go. One more permanent max HP would definitely be nice. I think I only, yeah, I only have one. What's it called? Judge blood. Why don't you throw bullets back at enemies with the smash? Oh yes, I do want that. And standing still, point towards the next guardian or towards the judge if the guardians have been taken down. Why don't you just start a run with 500 blood droplets and a combo times two. Smashed enemies projected towards other enemies, inflicting more damage upon contact. Allows you to fast travel to any visitor room from the map. Interesting. Let's take the one I took HP then. Creates a wave upon landing on the ground from a dash. Back in we go. Start up this time. Oh my god, off to a terrible start here. At least they gave me a slug.
Oh god. Oh, he almost exploded on me. Damn it. Increased damage to stun enemies by 5%. Cool. Plus 5% to stars or whatever the hell that means, too. I don't know. Understand. Okay, some kind of cipher is needed, I suppose. Damn it. Shop. Prevents losing one HP upon getting hit. Thank you for the shields. Much appreciated. What do we have here? Triple machine gun. I certainly cannot afford. I can't afford any of this actually. Super cool game. What's up, Tom? It's got the Celesti kind of uh, traversal, but much more forgiving than that in terms of traversal. But also, like, pretty challenging combat. Although I'm only in the first area and it's not, like, super bad yet. Uh, I'm just, like, expecting it to be really bad. Some of the bigger enemies have been somewhat problematic. Looked at it before, just never downloaded it. Yeah, I played it at the Xbox demo thing last year, and it came out in August or October or something, and then came to Game Pass a little later, and I just never actually played it. So I'm fixing that. Vault sealed. Quantum distortions detected beyond. But can I not go in there? Yeah, okay. I must need to fight this eye thing first. That I fought before and got my ass handed to me. Yeah, eat it, sucker. Increases damage. Oh, seismic activity detected. Disposing of this threat might have unblocked an exit. Hell yeah. Fully reloads. I don't know, that's a one-time thing. Eh, that's weird. Can I see, like, my inventory? I guess I can see plus 5% damage, plus 5% of whatever that star thing is. Damage on my gun, specifically. And keep exploring before I go to the boss room, though. Could use a little more blood drops. Or, I guess a few more blood drops is the correct way to say that, probably. To go shopping a little bit. What up, Genetics? It's on Game Pass. That may be where you've seen it, because I know you're a big Game Pass boy. Lost my shield there, unfortunately. God, it feels so good. What is this? Oh, this just gives a bunch of blood, right? Or does this give the judge blood or whatever? Oh, hello. Blood blessing. 5% more damage per missing HP. Ooh. Instantly get some judge blood based on your current progression. 10% of the total spent. Reloading energy. Slowly recharges automatically while there are enemies around. 
want to try they always run download the demo then tried like friday and won't let me play it's a purchase yeah i think the demo event ended so they don't let you play the demos anymore i know uh rob was a big fan of that one i didn't adore it i thought it was fine though but i mean honestly the biggest thing that turned me off is like the aesthetic wasn't exactly for me and i could totally see it being your aesthetic it's more kind of futuristic almost cyberpunky and the main character kind of reminds me of robocop which i'm sure you love i'm guessing based on the things i know you love um i kind of want to just instantly get judge blood but 10 per i've only spent one judge blood 10 percent of one is 0 0.1 will it even give me one let's find out okay good that's the permanent uh upgrade resource because this is a roguelite yeah i don't think i've ever actually seen robocop oh that was a terrible room oh that went so terribly exploration complete loot has been maximized oh yes thank you give me back some hp increase the sword damage increase this blast reload speed sounds good all right let's go back by the shop before we go to the boss How much do we have? 424. Ford gives back 1 HP. Okay, let's just get the 1 HP back, I guess. That's all we can really afford. Not like the map would be useful when we've already explored it all. Nice. Yeah, I think I have Robocop on, like, my big list just like the robocop series on my big list of like oh things you should probably watch someday that you won't ever get around to realistically but <laughs> i make the list anyway i guess boss time oh jeez, i was very lucky not to get hit there ow oh Dang it. Oh my god, even if you dodge that, he still makes giant explosions everywhere. Dang it, that's rough. That scene was disturbing, my friend. Not in a bad way, like it was interesting. But yeah, I don't know, it definitely looked like uh, an old movie. But uh, it's very gritty for an old movie, but yeah, I don't know that I would watch it. I mean, if somebody was like, hey, you want to watch Roadhouse? I'd be like, yeah, sure. But I don't know, that's something I want to go out of my way to watch. I really just want this more HP up here, so maybe we should keep going this way. It creates a wave upon landing from a dash. I can also afford this, ooh, which lets me counter bullets. That would be nice. Fast travel to any visited room is kind of nice, but it's more like little convenience. Let's just take this. Ooh, and I can get the two more HP actually. It only costed one. Oh wait, this guy's got more to say to me now? The gift. <clears throat> that small glowing altar by the tree. Thinking, thinking. Imminent death is a troubling experience. I never figured it out. How the chiming tree brings us back. Well, it serves the monolith. It keeps us alive so we can endure this forever. He's basically a bouncer. That scene is towards the end. That guy kills his mentor and friend that taught him how to be a bouncer. Damn. I mean, it makes sense to rip his throat out then. Spoilers for Roadhouse, I guess. Here's the shop already. Oh wait, there's two shops this time? Can't afford anything in it anyway. No way I'm gonna get 910 blood. Oh, what's this guy? Hello there, need a new weapon? This is Zipos. It follows Master Greed's teachings, twice as clever as you are. It cracked the code, more firepower, more boom. Get a weapon, survive longer. And say hi to Master Greed. Another rocket launcher. Bullets have a chance to ignore enemy armor. Some bullets will do 
plus 300% damage. We'll do 300% damage, but most will do 50%. Well, that sucks. see what we got here. Don't just drop more items with at least one health item. Do 5% more damage for every 1,000 blood you hold on to. More likely to drop any kind of items when finishing a room. Guess I'll take Lucky Charm. Oh. Ah, it's been hit there from the friggin' spikes. Apparently I still didn't kill him. Damn it. That was a bad room. Shit happens. Increases an axe HP by one, hell yeah. Also, just gave me one straight up, which is always nice. Oh yeah, that shockwave thing now, huh? Oh crap, that's terrible. Damn it. Kill that man demon thing. It was a terrible room. Shit happens. Uh, okay, nothing in here either. Fortunate. This reload speed. Speaking of, I should probably just be using my gun more often. Use it every once in a while for like big guys, but that's pretty much it. Okay, here's the judge room. I think that's what this guy is, the judge. Okay, you can't hit this guy with the guns even if you do stun him. Eat it. Welcome back. Fully reload, sure. Increases reload speed, sure. Why not? God, that's a lot of dudes. It's good to know that I can just hit the bullets out of the air with the big attack, that big attack. Don't have to uh, have the parry thing. I just can't. I can't parry them, obviously, but which would be nice to have. Let's look at the map. Man, we've explored most of it at this point. 
Still haven't even found the boss room, even if we did want to skip, which I don't think I would. Sure, take a reload. Why not? Oof, that was close. Increase max health again. Nice sword damage. Nice. Mm. Probably buy that right before I go in the boss room. Which is right now. I figured I was towards the end. Just didn't know exactly how close. I have 120 left. That's not enough to do anything. Oh, maybe that hand exploding thing was ooh, more of a late game. Like later in his fight, he does that, but not at the beginning. Damn it. Keep forgetting that sends out shockwaves. The gun does so much damage. That was different. Oh god. Yeah, eat it, sucker. Beat a judge of the entangled ingress. Fully reload, get back to HP, increase damage to stunned enemies. Got 420 blood, I don't think that's enough to buy anything down here. Maybe the plus damage, but not a new gun or anything. Let's buy plus sword damage. The Still Bastion. Damn it. Oh, this is immediately going not well. Oof. Oh, and man. First room, uh, very bad. Having difficulties, know that a good smash on incoming projectiles will break them out. I already know that, but thank you. Mm, more damage to stunned enemies. What's this? Fury? It allows you to perform a fury that recharges over time and that also destroys all enemy projectiles. Ooh, that seems cool. Just looking through to see what sticks out to me. It allows you to sacrifice HP to an altar of blood so that it yields a set of new blessings. Let's roll, it's called, to re-roll your blessings, that's funny. Combos break slower. I still haven't really learned what the combos do with the combo system. Taking down enemies counts twice as much for the ongoing combo. Oh, <laughs> I, I haven't unlocked the combo meter. Builds a combo meter based on your speed and attack variety. The bigger the meter, the more the droplets. Well, that seems just like something I need to have. Seems like a basic mechanic of the video game. One of these three, like, hidden ones. Defeat the fifth judge to unlock these. Okay. <laughs> I do wonder if there's a way <clears throat> to skip biomes later or not. I don't think there really needs to be. Depending on how long a run is, I suppose. How long a successful run is. But like, you know, Hades doesn't have a way to skip biomes, and I think it works perfectly fine, because like, game's full runs are like an hour. Even if you're not like, speeding through it or anything, you know, they can obviously get way shorter than that. Oh, come on. Cheap shot. Hmm. Cannot dash through bullets, buddy. Stop trying to do that. 
he said to himself. Neo Tui. Oh, damn, I was a little short. Enough. Yeah, all right, that's pretty true. Art style, music, battle system, everything feels faithful. Mm, cool. How How is, does the battle system work exactly? It's still pin based and you have moves based on them. It's just not like touch based. Because I remember the original Tui had a lot of trouble, at least according to reviews, being like translated to other systems because of the touch controls. They always said because of the way combat works, I guess, because of the pin system. But I assume that's just because it was touch control based. This is not going as well as last time. Last time wasn't even going that well. Gotta gotta move way faster to keep that combo going, huh? It's like your combo doesn't just like immediately disappear though. It might not disappear at all. It'll just add times 1.4 now. Okay, that's pretty cool. Especially with that thing you can buy. It costs a lot. It costs like five of the permanent resource. Which considering it goes up to 10,000, uh, maybe that's not that much eventually, but it's a lot right now. Uh, but that starts you off with the 2.0 on that, which is pretty crazy. Damn it. Oh my god, spikes down there. Man, I'm playing like shit. Each character is on a button. Uses one pin. It sounds like it expands to more pins. Let's just someone else do a beat drop and gain the team up gauge. Combo with the bottom screen, then do tap screen, then bottom. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, that's good. That's a lot of what was cool in that first one was uh, like controlling two characters at once essentially. Okay, my combo meter did drop at some point. Below 1.4. So it doesn't like stay once you get it to a certain amount. It just takes a while to drop I guess. To completely drop off. Damn it. Or maybe 1.2 is just like the base level. Lots of chance to ignore armor, lots of chance to stun enemies who are vulnerable. It's just an extra health point basically, that is probably what I want, honestly. 
love to get some different guns and try them out. I just am never going to have that many blood in the first level anyway, it seems like. Kind of do that here too. Seems alright on Switch, but I'm still do PS4, so it looks better, yeah. Minimal drops from the effect from what I saw. Yeah, I mean, in general, if it's a 3D game, I will not buy it on Switch. I can buy it somewhere else. I like Nintendo's the only ones I trust to optimize a 3D game properly on Switch, frankly. And even then, not always. <laughs> Like, tons of uh, indies work great on it. Basically every, like, 2D game ever can work great on it. But I don't trust oh, devs to properly optimize for 3D on Switch. Okay, some HP, increase sword damage, increase blast damage. There we go, finally my blessing. I wonder what it means when they're like further up or further down. Doubles your current blood stock. Ooh. Gives you 500 if you're currently below 250. Oh, what? I wish I was below 250. I'm barely above 250. I could get an extra 500 instead of an extra 250. Oh, hold on. Gives back all HP, all ammunitions, and recharges the Fury. Okay, I'm going to have to grab that to have any chance against the boss. Enemies have less life. Ooh. That's also really good. But I gotta take this. I gotta get that HP back. Got him up too high, I couldn't dodge over that anymore. Damn it. Ugh. Oh, fuck you. That was not a good fight. I lost all my combo. Because I wasn't doing so hot 559 I could go spend that at a shop but let's just save it we're in shops in this next area if we can survive long enough seems like those guys just like combust and then hit you with some bullets and it's like their whole thing Looks like there's an altar down here. Hell yeah. First enemy killed while not touching the ground. Get plus 10% sword damage. Deal 5% more damage for every 1,000 blood you hold on to. 5% shop discount per missing HP. Yes, I will take that. Now I just need to find some shops. So I've got quite a bit of blood. And I'm missing quite a bit of health. Damn it. Hate all the fucking slow projectiles. What a pain in the butt. Oh, I ran right into those super slow projectiles from ages ago. Hate it. Sword damage. Oh, I ran right into that. So you met Greed. He has been around for a long, long time. No longer than me, though. You shouldn't trade with him. The blood. Too precious. Too dangerous. 
Let's see. Your smash enemies are projected towards other enemies. Taking down enemies counts twice as much for the ongoing combo. Start with 500 droplets and a combo of times two. When standing still, blast will point towards the next guardian or towards the judge if the guardians have been taken down. Okay, so the judge is the boss. The guardians are the, like, eyeball thing. I don't know what they are in the other areas. It's the eyeball thing in the first area, though. I like being able to counter attack. Let's do that. Can't afford anything else. The human blood converts into judge blood when going back to the tree from being knocked out. One for 1300. I've never had 1300, so I've missed out by not having that, but that would be good to have. I do want Fury as well. Why don't you prioritize an attack zone during the Fury for aiming? Projectiles destroyed by the Fury are converted into ammunition. Maybe HP. Find the smash and dash. Oh. <gasps> that seems great. Has a four second cooldown. I mean, that's fair. Smashed enemies are stunned for longer. They hit a wall or another enemy while being stunned. Okay. More an enemy has been rapidly hit by slashes, the more smash be powerful on it. Okay, sure, sure, sure. Let's go for another run. Damn it. Off to a terrible start here. A truly abysmal start. Good lord. Three damage in the first effing room. Oh, this is a different one than I've seen. Oh, reveals the map. That's nice to have, I guess. What is that? What is the checker room? Oh. Oh. Secret room, I see. Oh, well then I do want to buy maps when they're available. Sh shotgun. Seems great. Good to know. Uh, the question is, do I still want to hit every room? The answer is probably yes. damage goes back to HP can't afford it yet but I'll probably come back and buy that I would imagine I wonder if you can only see the secret rooms if you have the map or if I'm just looking out for like little black abysses like that one over there when on max HP, all damages are increased by 50%. That sounds great, but I will not be at max HP. Almost ever. Enemies have less life would be nice. I'll just take the judge blood, though. Thank you. Gives back 3 HP? Fuck yeah. Man, I gotta find those secret rooms. Keep an eye out. If I can't even get into them without a map. Damn it, that was bad. So secret rooms have fucking good shit. Uh, let's head down here first. Oof, that was close.
Oof, took a hit there. Every time you take a hit, you lose a chunk of your counter. Your combo counter. Damn it. Oh my god, I'm just playing like garbage. Inside of me, right at the beginning, like that. Okay, that's the way in there. Improve my max HP, reload my gun. Okay, I need to go back to the shop and buy those two HP. Probably not gonna be enough to get me to victory here, but we might. Are you playing uh, Scarlet Nexus Genetics? I know you're an anime game boy like many of us in Spelunkers. It got pretty good reviews. I know you were talking about it. Oh yeah, yeah, that's right. You you switched to like even a different time zone to play it earlier. How are you liking Scarlet X? This should be my question. I have not started yet, unfortunately. Damn it. Uh. Not good. Not good at all. That's fine. Back to the chiming tree. The body boulder. <coughs> it's terrifying, but stay calm. You want to avoid its bullet shower. You can also smash through it. I keep I always forget I gotta smash when projectiles are coming. No man. I don't know. Um I'd like to get my theory. That'd be cool, I think. I don't think crystallization is gonna be particularly useful for me until I'm just getting more Let's take deadly combo. Combos break slower and then when there's no enemy around. Completely stop close to shops or altars. Interesting. I don't have enough to afford anything else, but Right, back to just my regular old little pistol. Trusty old pistol.
Damn it. Not bad. He's doing really well for a long while there. Uh, I countered some of the bullets, but not enough. Fortunate. Increase max HP by one. That's very good. Let's see what's in the shot. Some bullets will do 300% damage. Most will do 50%. That's bad. Bullets have a chance to stun enemies when they're vulnerable. That's decent, but eh. Damn it. Took another max HP increase, thank you. Not the best. Sir. All subsequent altars will yield four blessings. Deals more damage per room cleared without getting hit. Resets if hit. Eh, okay, let's just take enemies that have less health. Increases damage to stunned enemies, gives back two HP. Just grab that right now. Haven't beat that guy yet. The uh, guardian. Countered, bitch. This guy again. Get it. Damn it. Started that too late. Had a two times combo for a second. Increase damage to enemies. Increase blast reload speed. Gain one health back. Alright, looks like that's it. There's definitely a secret room in the middle there, right? I don't I think like on that full map that I discovered there was no like rooms that did not have something in them. But it seems like there's probably just walls in the way of the secret rooms unless you get a map. But who knows for sure. Not me. Just going all the way around this little center thing, seeing if I can find a secret room. Mm, should probably look that up to be certain, but let's finish this run before we do anything else. Can't afford nothing. Where was the boss room? Okay, this way.
Damn it. It's my favorite move, because I know how to dodge it pretty well. Damn it. Oh, come on. Totally did the upper dash. Oh, I can't believe I dashed into that. That was bad. Oh, fuck. Just really flubbing it super hard. Oh, oh that was abysmal. Oh, my God. I only got one freaking uh, judgment blood or whatever. Da, 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 da. We can afford crystallization. Bullets fired. Deal more damage to stunned enemies. Eh. Nothing I want, really. He's just sleeping. Lazy. You have a job to do, buddy? Reload speed, sure. I want to see real quick. And oh, I'll look it up on my phone here so I don't break anything on the overlay or whatever. Scourge, Bringer, Secret, Rooms. I think Trillum has a challenge room. I've never seen a challenge room. Not every realm will contain a secret room, but there are also, not very secret. Once you find all entrances to the secret room, it'll appear on your map. Oh. Usually get a hint when you see some sparkling on a wall. Reach the whole realm. Search the whole realm. Instead of trying to speedrun it, you'll always find these. They contain a free item. Hmm. Maybe it was just random that that one had two? The mini judges are the mini bosses. Yep, yep, judge. They're not called mini judges, though. They're called guardians. All these other things I recognize. What's up, Ryan? I am dying. I'm dying a lot. And I'm Googling things to try and die less. It's a roguelite, though. You are supposed to die. Maybe not as much as I have been. Maybe not against the first boss quite as many times. I've beaten, him, beaten the first boss twice. Maybe three times. I don't remember. Reveals every shop's position on the map throughout every realm. Gives back all HP. Uh, that's not useful right now. Reloading energy slowly recharges automatically while there are enemies around. Sure. Well, there's the boss room. Yeah, you gotta play more, because I was I was worried at the end of that first episode. Like, I even had my playtime written down, but I ended up bringing it up. Because I was only at eight and a half hours. And I haven't been, you know, super thorough, but I've been somewhat thorough. Man, I am really just fucking up here. Uh, and everyone says this game's absurdly long. Like, 30 hours, 40 hours, 50 hours. So I was like, eh, are we really a third of the way through the game? Even though we're, we chose to make this a, as long a section as we could based on the IGN guide. Seems like no, probably. Damn it.
Shop down here. This is damage to stun enemies. Gives back 3 HP. Can't afford that, unfortunately. Would be helpful, though. Keep that in mind. Especially with how close it is to the boss room. Here's the challenge room. First time I've seen one of these. I will probably die in it if I try right now. So maybe I won't try it right now. Okay, good. It's this guy. This guy's usually pretty easy. And usually gives me some health back. Yeah, give me the health. Oh, here's the secret room. Sword damage by 10%, hell yes. Got enough money to get this extra health from the shop. Oops, skipped right by the shop. Alright, let's go try and take on the challenge now. We're at 8 health. Seems good. I have one area after this and you're at 15 hours. Okay. Yeah, doesn't seem too bad. <laughs> How, what was your time at after the first first section, though? Was it around eight and a half? I think that's where I was. Eight and a half, nine, something like that. The ordeal wants you to fight. Earn what you seek. Struggle. Kill. Claim that shit. Unfortunately, hell yeah, give me that blood. 518, nice. Holy reloads, increased damage to stunned enemies, reload speed, increased sword damage, Ooh. shields, increased damage. Hell yes, definitely always want to do those if I find them. and change for me about that story gets better in this half Ooh, nice and puzzles get more interesting nice hell yeah i mean for me it was already starting to pick up a little bit at suit of ruins but like that was just the first dungeon which the first dungeon zelda games are always like yeah this is fine this is good but then it gets better so i expected to get better but i'm glad to hear that that's that's factual Man, you guys have me way more excited to get back to Okami, which I already, I already was. I just have so much to play that I was putting it off. But especially now that we're recording on Tuesday, man, I really need to get back to it. Not this Tuesday, obviously. The following Tuesday. This Tuesday, I've got an episode of Draft Punks to record. I'll pull them now. That's probably a good idea. There's some interesting ways of defeating them. back some HP. Hell yes. Okay, looks like this is fully explored. I feel pretty good about how this went. Let's get over to the boss.
Damn it. Stop doing the same thing over and over, you fucking asshole. Damn it. Forgot that was not a projectile that I could block. Oh my god, I hate him. Ugh, barely got the kill. Even though I came in there so fucking overprepped. Oh, uh, and there's no shops that have heals left, I don't think, so. Let's just go. Yeah, man, I gotta put together my draft, which I'll probably do tomorrow or maybe at work on Tuesday. Jam some Scarlet Nexus, yeah. Yeah, I got my family on that uh, Mario Golf train, so might end up doing a lot of that tomorrow, honestly. Ooh, yes, one health. I'll take that. Cannot take on the challenge room right now. Much as I would like to. Okay, yeah, those guys don't combust like I thought. They just... Ooh, shop. Constructs take 200% sword damage for 2.5 seconds. Halved on bosses. Constructs. Where are constructs? Targets have the projectiles slowed down for 2.0 seconds. Halved in bosses. This is a, These are weapon mods, right? Does my weapon even have, like, mod slots? Is there a way to look at that? Doesn't seem like... Oh my god, whoops. I didn't realize you could do that. I don't really know what I did. Oh. Oh, I did unlock the fast travel thing. That's where it, that's what I did. I'd like to buy a weapon. I almost have enough. Uh, I don't want to do challenger. Take a blessing. Gonna be on great game debate. Nice. What are you gonna be talking about? Random drops have a chance to be of a higher grade. Which chance to turn to a perfect grade, okay. More likely to drop any kind of item. Gives back all HP, ooh. Might need to take that, because I am just so close to death. Let's just take that. And then let's try to check on the challenge. Well, maybe I should try to buy that heavy laser first. Drum bullet sucker. Not enough for the heavy laser still. Yeah, I'll teach you to use slow bullets. Oh fuck. It's not paying attention to that guy on the roof. Damn it. Protecting presence of Earth-based technology, suggesting investigation to retrieve information. Okay. Can be archived with a Nexus computer? Log acquired. Strangest to replaying now. We found something. We can't explain it yet. The more we look for secrets, the more we search. The more we must search and think and search. And think. And now we know. That's what we do. That's how we do it. By doing what we do. Still a few weeks away, but I'm sure there'll be specifics as we get close. Cool. What exactly is the, their podcast like about? Because I've heard, uh, I have not heard their podcast, but I've heard the debating is more in their, their, uh, Discord. End of vlog, archive and file on the Nexus. Oh, I didn't see what that other thing was exactly. Apparently it's the Nexus computer, though. What do you got? He's also got a gun, just a shoddy, much cheaper, that's for sure. I'm gonna try out the heavy laser though. Damn 
Damn it, you can't charge with those guys once they're coming down at you. Okay. Well, I've still got decent HP. Let's get that heavy laser and take on this challenge room. Okay, so it's just one shot. Uh, whoops, shouldn't have wasted that one shot, but that's fine. Let's, let's just go, man. Yeah, pierces. They're all enemies, though. Damn it. Tried to counter, but it was too slow. Yeah, I need a challenge room. Probably reload. Increase damage to enemies. Reload speed. Sword damage. Get back HP. Gun damage. Spiders. Oh no. I've listened to some of the show, more generalized game talk as I can recall. Some more of this we can next get a feel. It's a good idea. Damn it. Oh god. The same that terribly. That room went poorly. Oh, damn it. Oh, how that hit me. Got a little too close. Fuck. God damn it. Not doing super hot. Oh my god, that was lucky. We can die, boys. We can die. Up there is a guardian. I don't think I'm uh, prepared for that at all. Explosion from the little folly guy. Rude. Man, I still only got three of that judgment blood shit from all that. I had 2,500 blood on me. Or 2,500 total blood earned. Does this convert all blood earned? Accumulated blood converts into judge blood. Hmm. I'm not sure if that counts just all blood or if it's specifically what you have left on your person. Probably just what you have left on your person, but. Also take it, mostly because I want Fury. Ah, <clears throat> that's a Nexus computer, an ancient machine. I once owned one. I must seek the knowledge. Well, hand me the computer so I can install it here. We'll be able to gather more information about this place. <clears throat> Please come back. I'll have the computer prepared. I think I have more to say. Are you cold? That must be, yes, the quiet place, too composed to live. Uh, let's do one more run. Cool.
cool. Off to a great start. That guy fucking blindsided me immediately. Fuck. Terrible start. Just the worst. Double revolver. Interesting. Here's the challenge room. Let's just immediately go for that. A-holes just spawn on the roof and immediately fuck me up. And fully refilled Fury. Okay, sure. Fury return speed. Shield. Let's try the double revolver out. But yeah, it just shoots two shots. Looks like I had some kind of disadvantage trait. That's probably why it was so cheap. Where it has like one less round in its chamber, basically. Oh, wait, no. It still fired that round off. Hmm. I wish I knew how to look at those traits and stuff, because it seems like either they're like, I don't know, they're different. I'm not sure if they're like dealing more damage or less damage or what. That was a terrible room, by the way. I'll be hard pressed to do worse than that. Oh, fuck. just the worst. I didn't even get any blood or whatever. Let's see if he set up the computer or whatever that he said he was going to do. By the way, I have this in full screen mode. Why was it showing? Oh, because I had my mouse up near the top, I guess. You're back. <clears throat> see, the computer is working. Ready to read logs. Go ahead. Give it a try. Okay, you can look at your best area. Look at challenges. Fully unlock a branch of the skull tree. Okay, interesting. It's just basically achievements. They don't actually give you any sort of reward, unfortunately. Stats, attempts, enemy kills, judge kills, blood. Rooms and time. Interesting. All interesting things. I didn't get any of this, right? Yeah. Well. What's up, Commander Lionheart? Thanks for coming, man. You actually caught me about to end the stream, though. This game's pretty neat. You might want to check it out. I know you're not a big roguelite or like guy, though, typically, right? Um, so you might not enjoy it, because it is a roguelite. Very roguelite. But it is light. It has light in it. Uh, you know, you do get permanent upgrades and all that, a la Hades. Oops. Where is it? I was trying to go full screen camera. Thanks, everybody, for joining me. Tom, Ryan... Genetics, Commander Lionheart, appreciate it, everybody. Uh, I will be back on twitch.tv slash Belunkers on Wednesday night. Yeah, I also played the demo at the Xbox event like a year ago, then never followed up. 
it's on Game Pass on PC anyways. I'm pretty sure it's on console Game Pass too. I think it actually came to console Game Pass first. I'm pretty sure. Which is why I hadn't played it because I didn't realize it came to PC Game Pass later. But yeah, thanks everybody. I will be back on Wednesday on Twitch.tv slash and I'll be back here on Thursday morning with something um, right here on this channel. Twitch.tv slash Tactical Dreamer. Thanks. Bye.